they don't sometimes difference between uh, Sydney and Singapore. Local time right now is uh, 35 minutes past 2 in the morning. The uh, COVID-19 prevention measures speaks to have your face masks on throughout the uh, disembarkation, Shelly Aircraft and the agent's instructions. Once again, now we take you to choosing flight lessons, Scott. Uh, passengers who are returning home, Marco Paul. Whereas uh, visiting Singapore, we will be a pleasant stay. And for passengers transiting to Singapore, we wish you a safe journey ahead. Let's prepare the cabin for arrival. took a bit longer than we hoped, maybe about like seven hours or so, so we can actually get out and do things. We wanted to go to Universal Studios but it's closed from like Monday until Wednesday and then like Thursday it's only open like 12 to 9 so. Yeah, exactly, so. Oh, it's focusing. Oh, finally getting our drinks. <laughs> oh my god, missing this whole environment of poker centers. Unfortunately, our favorite chicken rice is closed. It's all right, we're getting alternative chicken rice. And we forget how cheap the food is here, isn't it? Uh, and like, yeah. the drinks were $1.50 basically. Yeah. Sydney, this would be like $7. Yeah, like this. Board. Yeah, this would be like 5 to $7 roughly, I would say. It's definitely like my sort of style. Hot pink laser and this as well. that is mini gingerbread houses and houses and cakes and I don't know what else a lot of stuff for some reason there is a Gordon Ramsay restaurant very interesting there it is the Merlion and other buildings we have the nice city skyline yes hello from Singapore <laughs> Think she's rich. seen it before but like it's so cool just being here again and then seeing all of these things so let's see how this hotel room looks like Ooh, oh my god this is so nice so you have like light here as well gosh it's not even focusing oh wait that's for that light coat hangers lovely slippers and we also have a nice little sink area i think this is so nice if you have like two people yeah and there's another mirror on the other side two beds and then we have the bathroom some toilet literally exposed to the whole world and a lovely shower a really nice view which you can't really see so here's where you have all the coat hangers and everything you have an ironing board if you open this as well you have a charger and some free water amazing hotel tour is over hi good morning guys i don't know what's wrong with me but you know when you're traveling it's like impossible to sleep for too long when i'm at home i feel like i can sleep for eight nine hours or so 
You just came in time. I got my mask, so and like 50 people came into my loop and I was like, oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so basically I pulled out my mask because I was like, oh yeah, she's going to Coco's room early in the morning. So I was like, beep. It reached um, 27 and then like 50 people came into my loop. So I was like, <sighs> and then in the corner I was like hiding. <laughs> yeah. The shower. All right, all right. Goodbye, lady. You can go again. No mask. Do you need my mask? Oh, actually, I need that. <laughs> no, you need it. It's not. It's okay. Anyway. Bye. When I'm on holidays, I'm fine going around all day, every day, walking around, like doing shit nonstop, and I'm still okay after only like five hours sleep. Yes. I can't go up in the lift because of the card. Like, sorry, this is a restricted story. <laughs> but yeah, I think I grew a mole on my leg because I just saw it. I probably grew it a while ago. I think I've talked too much. Now I can just sit in silence because I have nothing to say anymore. All right, I'll see you guys in another part of the video. Honestly, I'm so impressed by this supermarket. I have nothing like this in Australia. So like, there's just so much stuff that we don't have. And yeah, just look at it. It's just like, Amazing. Look at what we have. Matcha tiramisu and our drinks. <laughs> wow, look at all of these stickers and stamps and everything. Tokyo hands. Ooh, look at this. Very pretty. Christmas lights. So not Christmas lights, Christmas decorations. Hello! Say hi! Hello. <laughs> so what I realized with Singapore is that everything is literally underground. I'm not very used to it because in Australia everything's above ground. When you're trying to get to places above ground actually, it's a lot more difficult than underground. Just a tip. We're inside the Fullerton Hotel. Look how pretty these drawings are. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, this fish. That's really pretty. It's so nice and cool in here. Oh my god, the whole Christmas tree is literally made out of teddy bears. This is insane. That is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Just outside the Fullerton Hotel, really nice bridge as well. And I had no idea that it actually connected with its car key. Wow, look at this sculpture. The sculpture's so stunning, oh my god. Next to all of these buildings. I don't understand why there's no escalators all the way up to Gardens by the Bay. Here we are, the super trees. I just literally came here just to take a quick shot and that's it. Can't be bothered to go any further because it's like 30 degrees. She's helping me with TikTok because I'm stupid. You wanted to put dubstep on a vlogging. Anyway, where's the emojis? <laughs> Oi! Oh, oh my god, you're so unhelpful. So unhelpful. Shut up! On camera. It's supposed to be Online. wholesome. <laughs> <laughs> the next YouTube video and your thumbnails just. <laughs> <laughs> so many exciting things happening in this airport, it's crazy. I tend to forget how much stuff there actually is to do in the airport. I also just get confused just because there's just so much to do. And if you're worried about getting food, like there's no problem here because then there's such a good variety of great food available. But I'm just so impressed. I'm so sad that I'm so full at the moment because I would be eating literally anything and everything that this place has to offer. There's like Chinese food, Japanese food, Spanish food, anything you can think of. Legit, not only do they have a ton of food, they also have a ton of like clothing and also a lot of branded stuff as well. Even like a bike rental shop, for goodness sake. I don't know who thought of that but it's cool and I love it. I think there's seven levels of the jewel. So this is the very bottom floor. And yes, as you can see, this is where like the water comes down from the jewel and then enters. I honestly don't know where it goes after that. It sort of just disappears. There's no puddle or anything at the bottom, which is really cool. That's the jewel, guys. Now see the compilation of the restaurants that I saw and you guys just choose what you want to do and eat. So yeah, let's go. 